Hi, I'm Peter. This is Bliss You. Welcome. Thank you for coming along and visiting us. When you first arrive at Bliss You, this is what you'll find. This is the landing page. There are a few things that you can do here. Most important, of course, are signing in or signing up. Any of these little icons down here, explore, engage, connect, will take you to our sign up page. Right down the very bottom, you'll see the privacy agreement terms of service. It will ask you to agree to the terms of service before you sign up, so you probably should have a read through. The most important thing is just our commitment to freedom of speech. That's our commitment to you. Um, it's your community. You can say and share and do what you like. As long as we respect copyright for music and photos and, and other copyrightable material, and as long as anything that's publicly viewable is family friendly because we do want this to be a place where everyone can come and everyone can feel welcome. So we'll just head back now to the landing page. When you uh, click to sign up, this is one of the few times we will ever ask you to prove that you're a real person using one of these annoying capture things. The other time is when uh, you use the form down the bottom to get in touch with us and that's simply to protect against uh, spam signups and spam messages so it, it just is to protect everyone. So I will go ahead and sign in now. When you first sign in you'll get an email from the system which asks you to confirm your email address so do have a look at that and uh, click the link to confirm your email address. If you don't uh, get that just check your spam uh, folder. If you haven't got it within an hour and you've checked your spam folder, then um, just click the uh, the contact form at the bottom and get in touch with us, and we'll see what's what's happened. Um, now, heading, I'll, I'll run through the things at the top, uh, the menu items, and these little buttons in a minute. But heading down the left-hand side, our, our logo. There'll be a little welcome to you, and a few uh, commonly used, frequently used um, menu items here. So, one of the first things you might want to do when you sign in. Uh, for the first time is to add a profile picture. Very easy to do. You can upload a photo from your computer. You can choose one you've already uploaded. If you have a webcam you can take a photo. Um, same for the cover pic. Just click here to upload a photo. If your photo you want to use isn't quite the right size, doesn't matter. Um, you can upload a larger photo and just move it around like that until you get it where you want to and then click Save Position. You might also want to uh, update your profile or, or include a bit more information on your profile, name, gender, date of birth, uh, where you're from, uh, any interests you have, if you're interested in stamp collecting, in surfing, in uh, tropical birds, whatever. Pop that in there because you can search for members and they can search for you according to location or according to interest. So just a, a good way of keeping in touch. But not at all compulsory. Um, this is your community. We don't have many rules. You can do what you want. Coming down from the, the popularly or frequently used menu items, you've got popular groups, you've got recent news, and I'll show you in a minute how to change those so you get the news feeds that you want. Under that, the weather. When you first log in, you'll probably just get an empty box here with a pencil at the bottom. Just click on the pencil. That will enable you to enter your location, and then you'll get a, 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 a frequently updated four-day forecast right there. Back up to the top, um, feed. Easy to post something, just type and then click the share button. You can add photos, you can add links, you can tag people, you can add emoticons and there are about 80 of them so there's something there for most circumstances. Just make sure that the privacy is set to an appropriate level. If it's set to everyone, which is the default, then it needs to be family friendly. Um, you can certainly choose to uh, share only with friends and networks. Networks aren't enabled yet, but they are geographical networks. For example, there might be a network for South Australia, there might be a network for Chicago or Sweden, because uh, there might be times when you want to share alerts or news with people in your area. You can uh, share with your friends, you can make it only visible to yourself, or you can share with a custom group. You can create lists of friends that uh, have particular interests if you want to, to share. Um, very easy to comment uh, on a, a link as well. You just type whatever you want and again you can add a picture, you can add the same emoticons. So that's the main feed on your journal page. On the right hand side you'll see a list of people you may know and you'll see recommendations for content that you might be uh, interested in or things that you might like to do. When you first sign up these will be pretty random because it doesn't know you but as you start to like other people's posts, as you invite your friends and as you uh, post items on your uh, journal page it will get to know you and the uh, recommendations will begin to make a bit more sense. 
birthdays. Um, it will give you an indication if you've got a friend who's got a birthday coming up. Uh, it may be a little hard to see, but on the um, on the calendar, birthdays are just slightly darker in colour. If you hover over, it will tell you whose birthday it is and, and you can send them a message. You can upload music for people to stream while they're on the site. Um, recently popular photos, recently popular videos. Um, you just click and they will open. This is our first promo video. Uh, so that's kind of fun. If you haven't seen that, that's worth watching. But we'll just continue for now. A couple of ad blocks. We need those to be able to pay for servers and for software updates. Now when you scroll down, you can scroll down to the bottom twice and it will automatically reload. You'll see the loading there. But if you scroll down a third time, then you'll need to click the View More button if you want to see older posts. This button here will take you right up to the top of the page again if you want to do that. But we'll just check a couple more things down the bottom. Now those um, key menu items from the landing page are down the bottom here. They're just a little hidden, but if you move your mouse over them, if you do want to view the privacy or terms of service, um, then just click on them and they'll open from there. The other thing to take note of to solve down here is the chat bar. This is live chat. So that tells me that there are a couple of my friends online at the moment who I can chat with if I want to. You can change options for, for the chat bar for sounds or you can tick yourself off not available to chat if you don't want to be disturbed. You can change the look of the chat bar if you want to. And along the left hand side there are just a few games there that, uh, that uh, you can play if you want to. Flash games, quite simple but they're kind of fun if you just want to pass a few minutes and uh, gentle amusement, click the button to take you right back up to the top again. Along the top you'll see uh, in notifications if you've got any friend requests, you'll see messages. This is not like uh, um, uh, chat, this is more like an internal email system. You just click on that, you can send messages and reply to them. Recent notifications, change your settings, that will take you to your profile page or you can sign out. The journal page, this is where we are now. Invite. This is where you can invite your friends. So if you're new, um, do this because this gets to be a lot more fun and it's a lot more interesting if there are people you know who are also on Bliss You with you. And you can choose from any web accounts you have. Clicking on the Facebook button will allow you to invite your, your Facebook friends, for example, little list of people that you know. You can add email addresses manually. You can even upload contact files if you have them from Windows or from Outlook. Photos and albums. Um, this will take you to photos and uh, these are albums that I've created. So True Group was an obstacle course that I ran uh, a couple of months ago now. So photos from that particular event. There are other albums as well. Um, you can of course upload photos just to your journal page. But it's kind of fun to, to upload them to the um, to the photo page because then you can put them in albums, you can sort them into categories um, and um, add descriptions and so on. Just keep in mind that photos you add uh, mean that anyone you share them with can be can download them. So if you're a professional photographer or, or you make money from your photos in some other way you might like to just add a watermark or just add thumbnails. Videos. Again of course you can add videos on your uh, journal page but you can um, add videos here on the uh, on the video page as well and again um, that gives you some other options. You can add them into channels, you can uh, create categories and so on. Music you can upload music to share with others so that they can stream while uh, they're on site. There are no copyright issues with that because it's fair use. It's just like free advertising. You, there is the ability to upload music for others to download, but to do that you have to verify that you own the copyright or have distribution rights. So these are just albums that I've created to stream. We'll just click on one of them to, to start. In a few minutes that'll begin to play back. And you'll see now that the uh, music player has popped up down the bottom. This is Dwight Yoakam's um, album Secondhand Heart. So that gives you a pause button or fast forward button, tells you which track is currently playing, gives you a list of available tracks. And we'll just pause that and we'll go along now to the news page. Uh, very easy to, to, um, to upload music, just click on the upload um, 
button there and it will give you the option to to upload your single songs or to create a new album to add music to an album that you've already created you can also create playlists uh, I don't think I've created any playlists yet from from other music that you've updated so you can pick tracks um, that uh, you've uploaded from different albums or s individual songs and um, you can add those to playlists news this is like a one-stop shop for for news uh, you can add feeds that uh, you may find of interest if there's a particular news site or news feed that you're interested you can just click add feed and you can add that you can sort feeds into into categories and uh, we, we've started with a couple of different feeds from different uh, backgrounds different places just to get you going there's the Australian ABC which might be considered a, a leftist um, news source Google News just an aggregator BBC another leftist news source and Fox News and Breibart both uh, US uh, conservative uh, news sources so you've got a few there to choose from these will update automatically uh, every hour or so but if you want to force an update it's very easy to do that just click on my feeds and just tick the button there to highlight all of the feeds and click get data and that will force an update but you can add other feeds if you wish to do so moving along classifieds there's only one in there at the moment this is like a, a buy swap or sell you can create groups of course for your location for buy swap or sell but in the general classified listings there's only one at the moment um, pages I've created a page for uh, the um, American River Post Office now Barney Rubble was a, um, a test uh, user that I created very early on so now Barney's created a, um, a page for his uh, Rubble site no photos or anything in there as yet but uh, one interesting thing that this can do is that it will give you directions so you can click wherever you are if you're looking for somewhere to buy Rubble and for example you happen to be in uh, Chicago Illinois and you want to get to Barney so we made up an address for that in in Bloomington then click directions and it will give you directions from wherever you are to wherever the business is so if you're a business or you are a, a, a club or society that's something that might be useful to you whether if you click on that it uh, you, you can uh, view weather for other locations besides where you are you can create groups you can create events if there's a concert coming up or you want to invite people to a party you can do that blogs blogs the blog page is for longer posts than the journal page there's a limit uh, on the journal page of about a thousand words for a post longer than that pop it on the blog page um, their posts uh, that page is for posts which are a bit longer where something you might want to thought about think about a bit more detail or discuss in a bit more depth polls you can easily create polls which ask um, other members or friends uh, questions for example I've posted one here about two possible new features we could have a recipe page we could have an auction page a bit like eBay so I just posted that to ask um, what people would prefer if they'd like something else you can you can add comments uh, you can get a list of members and there's the forum page and in here this is where we'll make news and announcements about upcoming changes or timeouts for maintenance or any other uh, events that might be happening you can request support you can make uh, suggestions you can introduce yourself there if you want to uh, and that of course will be visible to everybody not just to your your friends um, uh, if you just want to post an introduction to your friends then um, just post that on the journal page and visible to you to your friends but so I've created um, one forum item here just a quick how-to for a couple of of things that you might want to do straight up how do you add a, a profile pic how do you add a cover pic and you're welcome to post uh, anything you want up there so just as we've been talking I see a notification has popped up there and um, that's one of my friends has just liked one of my posts recently and that's that's bliss you